Hello, hello, and welcome. It is your mom of three in raining NYC. And I am back with another video. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Teneza. I'm the mother of three strong-willed, every single one, kids living in the heart of New York City. I do have a YouTube family in these YouTube streets, and I want to personally invite you to subscribe to my channel let's jump into it this video is a review married at first sight season 17 episode 23 second times the charm it's not <laughs> michael michael you had me fool my friend let's back up this episode starts with the wives, well, ex-wives, sorry, the ex-wives, the ladies. The ladies get together for a boudoir photo shoot to reclaim their sexy, get their sexy back. Becca, Emily, Claire, and Lauren. Lingerie, they discuss their biggest insecurity and what they most love about their body. Women empowerment, I'm here for it. They had a great time. Chloe meets for margaritas and Mexican food with her BFF Cesar. She has never been more conflicted. On one hand, she cannot imagine a life without Michael. On the other hand, she is not sure if they are meant to be. I feel it. I feel her pain. I do. I believe that she is torn. I'm watching this episode, you guys, and I'm like, girl, don't worry. Michael hearts you. Second time is the charm. You were meant to be. It was meant to be you and him. You love his fashion sense and his style. He's supportive of you. It is going to be okay, girl. Don't stress. Don't stress. Don't stress. I, Teneza, would have bet money that on the decision day between Michael and Chloe, they both were going to say yes. I would put money on it. Even when they separated, they went back to their own apartments the night before decision day, I would have bet money. Back to the other couples. Other couples get together for drinks. Everyone's there but Brennan. Brennan is, he's whack. He had a softball game and Emily's like, oh, intramural sports. <laughs> He should have been a good sport and shown up. Lauren and Orion, awkward to watch. I do not like watching them interact. It makes me uncomfortable. He needs to let it go and let her move on. She obviously still cares. She wants to say she's not bothered, but she is. She spoke up for herself when she was not feeling comfortable. I want to applaud her for that. Therapy is working. The therapy is therapy. It makes other people uncomfortable as well to watch their interactions. They need to just, just separate ways. You're not friends. We were married. Part of a reality show. Let's go our own separate ways. It's too confusing. Brian says things he doesn't mean. He jokes too much. I think he leads her on to make himself feel better about what he did to her and their marriage. Move on. What are they saying, Frozen? Let it go. Let it go. One thing I did want to point out before we deep dive into Michael and Chloe is that Becca keeps saying that she wasn't the right person for Austin. And that upset me a little bit because she's placing the blame on her shoulders and she deserves none of the blame. Becca says that she needs to remind herself that she is not what's best for Austin. I say, why does she place the burden on herself and measuring up? He's not good for her. Intimacy, honesty. You're the prize, Becca. Let's get back a hand. You're the prize. I thought, especially for these reasons, that they both were going to say yes. The intimacy. Ever since they went to the SEX store, they have full steam ahead. It seemed that Chloe was definitely getting attached to Michael the more she learned about him and the more she was able to appreciate his individuality. For example, boxing. For example, when all the couples went to the gym during the couple's retreat and he won. When she began to see him in his element, the more she liked him and the more he listened to her, the more she liked him. I thought that Michael was gonna say yes as well. He was fond of Chloe. He was attracted to Chloe. He only had good things to say about Chloe. The only red flag for me was that his family had no idea he had gotten married again. That was the only like, 
even your sister, like my only red flag. We get to decision day. She looks great. He looks like Michael. The bouffant was bouffanting. I thought it was so sweet when she said that she wanted to keep giving this relationship a shot. Try. When Michael said he wanted a divorce. Oh my. I was shocked. Chloe handled it way better than I, Teneza, would have handled it. She's like, I'm not surprised he said that. He made the decision that was best for him. Girl, girl, that had to have hurt. I was just so surprised that Michael wants a divorce. From everything that we, the viewers, see, things are going along swimmingly. He handled everything with a grain of salt, even when she wanted a break, a breather, after their honeymoon to process the honeymoon. He was a good sport about it. Cohabitating, they said, could not have gotten any easier. Talking about the future. The only guesstimation that I can make is that marriage was way more than he thought it would be. It's a whole new life being married. And I, Teneza, have been married for over 15 years. I was a child bride. <laughs> In my opinion, there is a misconception that marriage is there to make you happy. You're not going to be happy every day of your marriage. The commitment we have to each other supersedes our own personal feelings of being happy. When you are married, you have to make compromises and sacrifices for the greater good of the relationship. An alarm went off in Michael's head as they talked about their future. She wants five foster kids. She wants an animal sanctuary. She wants a house. He wants a modern car. I mean, there were a lot of compromises he was going to have to make. And when he gave her the pushback about writing the lease out, I was like, uh-oh. That raised my eyebrow. When he said they would live separately after decision day, boo-boo. It would not be a hassle to explain to the management company of her place that I got married and I'd like to break my lease in 30 days. I'm sure it would not be that much of a hassle. It would be a lot less of a hassle than you guys moving away from each other, cohabitating a few days a week, and then in six months, moving in together. That seems more of a hassle, Michaels. I was shocked. And I felt a little bit bad for the experts because they show clips. Both Chloe and Michael said they were ready to be married at first sight. They had room in their lives for a partner, wanted a partner. And Michael, I'm telling you, Michael says what needs to be said. Michael says what he thinks you want to hear. And the fact that being stood up at the altar the first time reinforced his desire to want to be married and to give love a second chance. Wah, wah. As a viewer, I felt like Michael and Chloe working out was the only redeeming factor we had left. All five couples ended in divorce. O oh, out of five. Zero out of five. And I, Tanaza, felt like this season set a bad precedent for future seasons, the coming and going. I'm not going to live with you. I'm going to stay at my own place. That was bad. That's a turning point for this show. The fact that couples can come and go back to their own lives as they desire, mark my words, it's going to keep happening. Lauren and Orion broke up after the honeymoon. Next was Claire and Cameron. Next was Emily and Brennan. Next was Becca and Austin. And here, Chloe and Michael ended in divorce. So sad, so sad, so sad. I do wish all of them the best. I do. Those experts look stressed out, you guys. They were like, why would you not give it a chance? I mean, they look stressed out. You, you should have given it a shot, Michael. I'll give you advice. Lauren and Orion were too far gone. Brennan and Emily have been on different pages for weeks. If Austin had not lied, I wish Becca and Austin could have figured it out. There was too much under the surface of Cameron and, and Claire that we weren't aware of, that we became aware of. They still should have stayed married for the entire eight weeks and stayed living together. I think that would have been the right thing to do. And here we go, Michael and Chloe. Mm, mm, mm. I think they should have given it a shot. Post-production, cameras off, a real shot, having a real relationship. Marriage is not easy. It is not easy. 
but it is wonderful when you make that commitment and then you see it and you stick it out it's wonderful any questions comments drop them down below do we have a reunion i think is there a reunion let me check we're not done yet we are not done yet there is a denver reunion i'll see you for two more at least two more reviews you i will i will be reviewing denver reunion part one part two i'm not sure if there's a part three but I will look forward to seeing you next week for our next review. Bye, tribe.